Morning. Sorry, I, I, I didn't realize you were starting today at 7.30 p.m. Dinner. Would you like to? Why? You want to ask how old I am, don't you? Max, I'd leave for a five you. Hello, stranger. Oh. Trucks are ready. We're good to go. Are we going to do this or what? Confident, attentive, full of himself, and he doesn't listen. I can't have children. What if I said you were enough? You were more than enough. a lot in your line of work, but I think I'm going to die. What did we do last night? Well, we must have had a good time, cos... We, um... <laughs> we did, didn't we? Well, you did. I just said yes. Outside the... And you were sober. Then it must have been serious. Well, I believed you. So... so... Are we getting married? Yeah, I think we're getting married. I wonder what we can do to celebrate this momentous occasion. <laughs> Morning, Doc. Morning. Cup of tea? Uh, no, thank you. You're just, uh laying low, are you? From? Work? Isn't that what staff rooms are for? Is that what you're doing? Me? No. Oh, Matt, can you give us a hand? We've got an incoming. Right behind you, and I will see you later. <laughs> oh, Dylan, sorry. Yeah. You're needed in resource too. Something very weird going on. Weird? What do you mean? Well, this incoming fell off a building, and that's the fourth we've had in two days. Must be catching. Going around, they get in your way. We'll get changed now, then, before it gets really busy. Hey, Jay. I've conned him into letting me race now. I'll get away after that. Be with you by 11. Problem? Yeah. Did he track in Inverness? Yeah, due to Orpherton, isn't it? Yeah, Monday. I had someone lined up to open it. He's let me down. It's supposed to be a mate. Anyway, he's done. So, Gary, I need you to go out there and kick things off for me. To Inverness? No, to Iceland. Yes, to Inverness. I'm not sure I can. I mean, how long would it be for? Only about six months, maybe a year. What? It's a great opportunity. I can't. I mean, what about Rosie? I couldn't just pull her out of school and she's got a GCSEs next year. No, change of environment, it'll be good for her. No, oh, sorry. Oh, no, sorry me, Gary, you're going. I can't. Yes, you can. Otherwise, you'll be out of a job. Yeah, you'll be through here. You'll be back living off handouts. Now, don't tell me you've forgotten how bad that is already. So you'll do it? Sorry. Yes, I'll do it. Good man. Two, three. OK, got a mail. No ID, mid to late thirties. Falling 30 foot from a building, approximately a quarter past eight, and leaving them unconscious for at least five minutes. GCS 12, pulse 105, BP 130 systolic, sats at 92. 
He's got a possible fetch of femur, fetch of right arm, back injuries. Give him 15 to morphine. Okay, thank you. Guys, we need to we need to move him. The lights here are flickering. I haven't noticed. Well, they are. They're fine. Yeah, I can't see properly, so we need to move him. OK, let's move him. Lofty, can you get hold of maintenance, please, and ask them to check the lights in Bay 4? OK. OK, and can we start the primary survey, then, please? Dad, can I get going now? Rosie? Did you fancy a race? Don't feel for ages. OK. Yeah, OK, come on, then. You're giving me a chance. So, did your dad tell you, then? About what? Scotland. Scotland. In Vanessa? He's going to be managing the new track we've got up there? No, he's not. <laughs> yes, he is. What about me? I guess you're going with him. He wouldn't do that. He wouldn't make me leave here. Right, well, he either does that or he goes back on benefits. And I heard you hated having vouchers for your school dinners. You'd sack him. I wouldn't have a choice. So don't you go making this hard on him. You'll be a good girl and just pack your suitcase, OK? So when should we tell she to breathe fire? Connie. My mum. Oh, don't know why you're asking me. Quite frankly, if I never saw her again, it'd be too soon. Nice. But you don't think it's going to be difficult with your mum? No, you? she'll be fine. Because, you know, there'll be members of my family that won't be that impressed that I'm getting aged either. But Well, you know, with the age difference. Not because you're a doctor and I'm a porter. No. No. What, maybe a bit. Let's just keep family out of it, shall we? Because once they know we're getting married, the band's kick off and I don't want anyone to spoil it. Can we still our friends? Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Yeah. Nobody that makes a latte like honey. Then I'll have a latte too. Morning, Ethan. Uh, good morning. Never seen you around here before, have I? No. So that makes me a first time customer. So I'd like to grab my free cafe latte, please. Ooh. Cheeky one, aren't you? <laughs> Very cheeky. Not wrong with a bit of spice, though, eh? How were the drinks? You said you were having drinks with Jacob, which was why we didn't go out to dinner. Oh, uh, yes. Very nice. Just this once. Uh, could you get me a flat white, please? Where are you going? Uh, just something I've forgotten. Thank you. It was an accident. No one's to blame. OK. Can you tell me where it hurts? I don't know. It just hurts. Right, what I'm going to do is check you over first, and then we'll see about getting your helmet off, all right? All right, Rosie, you'll be all right. I'll make sure of it. I'm going to need collar and board, please. Okay. Got it. Good. It's all right, mate. We'll get it sorted. Don't worry. Just stay nice and still for it. Yeah. Well, that all seems clear. Are the orthopods on their way? Just calling them now. You heard what happened, didn't you? What? He fell off a building and hit a canopy, which broke his fall. Four floors. Imagine that. It's high. Looks like he's walked away with a fractured arm. Four floors? It's lucky. There's nothing more I can do here. Let's wait and see what the specialists say, and then let's get him upstairs as soon as possible, please. Um. Oh, Lofty, will you see to maintenance for me, please? Yeah. Ah, I'm glad you're back. I was really missing my morning coffee. Um, I like coffee, too. Yeah, but you know where I am. Oh, hello. Hi. Did you not fancy a coffee earlier? You was there one minute and then gone the next. Oh, um, no. 
Uh, that was because I, I forgot I'm, I'm not drinking caffeine at the moment. I've been drinking way too much. Well, that's funny because Lily got to me and said that one was for you. No, it wasn't for me. I don't know why she would have said that. Right. What is wrong with you? Nothing. Mate, she has clearly got a horse for you. And I know what you'd like to do to her. All right, you'd have to be so crude. Look, she's not the kind of girl that's going to come back in. So, get stuck in. Ethan, I'm going to be honest here. I think you could be one of the top doctors in the country. Really? Yes, I really do. So, I hope I'm not overstepping the line here, but with your exams coming up, do you really need the distraction? Shift today. Really? Do you have any plans this weekend? No, I don't yet. And uh, I'd like you to trail me today, get a load of the department. Trail you? Mm. Is that all you'd like me to do? Yes, that's all. Thank you. That's cool for me. Jacob, you needed in resource. Oh, I'm sorry. I just accepted a date with Mrs. Peach. I'd like him to see how the department's run. Okay, well, just have to wait. I need you in resource. Is there no one else? Uh, let me see. Um, I can either have the invisible man or. No, that's it. I think staff and nurse masters would benefit from seeing how the department's run from a clinical lead point of view. Yeah, well, I think staff nurse masters would benefit from getting on with being a nurse. Oh, I'm loving this job. I've got two women fighting over me. Don't flatter yourself. I'm only concerned with the department. Come on. What did you say? Sweet cheese. Not sure whether I'd like this or not. What? Connie Beecham back in the playground. Is it just Jacob, or did she nick your skipping rope as well? What are you thinking? He's a player, that's right. Yeah. And you don't like players? I would say that. OK, Rosie, on a scale of 1 to 10 again, how bad is the pain? Still 7. Which really means 9 or 10. Where's worse? Oh. Sorry. <laughs> that's my ankle. It's really starting to hurt. OK, well, that pain relief again we should be kicking in. But in the meantime, I'll have a look at this uncle for you, all right? I can't go to Scotland, Dad. I never mentioned Scotland. Brad told me. You what? You don't have to go, do you? Don't I don't know what So we're going. <laughs> you can't make me go to Scotland. I don't have a choice. <laughs> I'm just going to get this sock off. You don't have to. Well, it could be broken. Really, it's not that bad. Don't. What's that? What's that a tattoo? Where's Jake? I think it's more important to get Rosie's sword at the moment. Hey, <laughs> yeah, little buddy. How are you today? I could rest, yeah. <laughs> Would you listen to her? <laughs> oh, Kevin. I can't believe it. I won't be long. <laughs> it's a bit too big. <laughs> I'll get it resized. I want it to be perfect. Put it somewhere safe, in the office. Morning. Morning. Can I tell him? Tell me what? Your father has asked me to marry him. We just thought we should. Why? Because. We want to. And, and I'm supposed to be happy. Say congrats and, and all that. You... I don't believe you. I want you to be my best man. Thanks. I can't wait. He'll come around. You'll see. I know. It's just that he's my boy. It's all right. It's not your fault. I need to sort this somehow. He'll be fine. You need to get to work.
Those things will kill you. Reese, look, I'm sorry, mate. I was going to tell you when we were on our own. I know this is hard for you to hear, but if you could just give Ava a chance. Or write her a check. Which do you think she'd prefer? Son, that's not fair. You've got her all wrong. Yeah, sure. Can't you just be happy for me? For us? GCS 15, Pulse 90, BP 146, Stolic, SARS 97. She's got a possible fractured right ankle, fractured clavicle, and pains to her ribs and abdomen. We've given a 10 of morphine. One, two, three. All right, darling, don't worry, hold my hand. Everything's gonna be okay. As soon as the doctor gets here, we're gonna ease you over and have a proper look at your back. All right. Are you a dad? Yeah. Any known allergies? No. Is your medication? No. Rosie, why didn't you tell me you had a boyfriend? I don't tell you everything, you don't tell me everything. That's not fair. Come on. Set your eyes to this tour. Come on. Okay. People, I've, I've mentioned the lights here already. Can we move the patient, please? They've been checked. Maintenance checked them. Really? There's nothing wrong with them. People's equal and reacting. OK. Dylan, are you joining us or not? <sighs> OK, can somebody get a chair, please? It's OK, I've got him. What's wrong with him? I'm fine, honestly. Get him into a cubicle and check him out. Fine. fine. Is he safe, please? Don't worry, we'll look after him. I don't believe this. First, the lights. Now, the cardiac monitor doesn't work. Can we please move this patient? Bay 3 is free. OK. I'll be over in a minute, sweetheart. Right. Just pop you into this new bay. Gary, Hi, Gary, 38 years old, involved in a go-karting accident, and nearly passed out in recess. Well, you picked the right place. Don't tell me you didn't know. I thought I'd just nick myself. Wanted you guys to see to Rosie first. Well, that does look painful. No wonder you nearly passed out. You'd pass out too if you found out your 14-year-old daughter not only has a boyfriend, but also has his name tattooed on her ankle. I don't have any kids, but I suppose the trick is to remember what you were like when you were 14. You had girlfriends, right? Yeah, I did. How's my dad? He's fine. He's going to be fine. I think it was your tattoo that upset him. I think it's more because I've got a boyfriend. Well, us dads always want the best for our kids. Don't always get it, but uh, we can't stop us trying. X-rays will set. <laughs> OK, OK, let's give her five more of morphine. There's nothing wrong with that monitor. Well, it patently wasn't working. Because someone pulled the block out. Where is Bess? You've got to take her there. Uh, yes, um, 16th of the 8th, 2001. That new nurse, um, the good-looking one. Jacob. Yeah, it's the agency. No, no, he's full-time. He's one of the team. And your luck is in. I just happen to know that he's single and available. So you can't say I don't look out for you now, can you? Uh, just a minute. Where's my ring? What, what ring? Hey, I'm stupid. You and me are the only ones in the house and it's gone missing. And why would I take your ring, Mummy? You tell me. Open that drawer. No. Why, why should I? It's in there, isn't it? No. Open it. Get out of my way, I know it's Look, there's a snake in there. Ugh. It bit me. It bit me. Okay, Tess, let's get this cleaned and stitched up. Of course. Okay. Can you put some pressure on that for me? Yeah. Have you got kids? Yeah. How do you persuade them to do what you want them to? With difficulty. Now, are you hiding any other injuries? My arm's aching a bit. Okay, let's take a look. I've got to move to Scotland. No choice. For work? Yeah. What line are you in? I'm a mechanic. I thought we'd be able to do that anywhere. 
I'm not trained. Well, I'm self-trained, but everyone wants diplomas and certificates. Yeah, same with everything. Wish I got me out together at school now. <sighs> Let's get an X-ray. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Oh, have you seen Max? I need him to take someone to X-ray. No, sorry. Uh, how are they today? Max and Zoe. Okay, I think. Good. Well, I presumed it all must be good. You know. Yeah. Who told you, Max? Makes me feel a lot better. I thought Zoe had told everyone else before me. Has Max mentioned a date? What for? The wedding. A wedding? They're, they're getting married. I thought that's what you were talking about. No, I was talking about Zoe meeting Max's mum. Forget I spoke. This conversation did not happen. You can't no. say anything. I won't, I promise. Oh, Dylan, can I have a word in here? Not really, no. Okay, you need to tell me what's going on. I don't know what you mean. About the 40 lights that aren't 40. Uh, it was a genuine mistake. Right, and I don't suppose the non-working monitor was you either. Well, I don't have time to listen no, to this. You are putting patients' lives in danger. How dare you? I'm doing the exact no, opposite. That is what's happening. Will you get out of Excuse my Excuse me, way? what's going on? Well? Hi. It was, it was me. There was a dodgy light in recess I forgot to get fixed. Dylan quite rightly just read me the right act. Well, thank you very much, Dylan. Perhaps next time you'll conduct your business inside your office, not in front of the patients. Just forget about it. Rita, I do have a problem. Um, I have... Uh, I have those things that I need to do. Such as? Stupid things. Um, rituals. I have, a, I have a checklist that I need to go through. What, you think something bad's going to happen if you don't? If I don't, a patient will die. Well, you're only doing what we all do to some degree or another. I mean, we've all got our silly little superstitions. Do you want to know what mine is? Yeah, go on. I've got this white vest top. Must be about 15 years old and it's not very white anymore. I wore it when I took my nursing exams and if I've got a big day, I like to wear it. I say it out loud, it sounds silly, doesn't it? No, that does sound ridiculous. Good to go? Good to go. It's over. Deed done. Deed done. You won't tell anyone about this? No, of course not. It's between you and me. OK. So, how'd it go with your mum and Zoe? Yeah, great. They went together like uh, oil and water. Ooh, that good. That good. Uh, excuse me, can we, can we use that chair? Yeah, sure, what have we got? Did she think she was bitten by a snake? I was. In you go. You all right? Mm -hmm. You know, I've always fancied having a snake. It's a bit different, isn't it? Any more problems, just go and see your GP. Hey, what do you want here? It's a uh, snake bite. Ooh, snake bite. Interesting. Reasons, please. I'll be with you shortly. Have you asked her out yet, your little honeybee? No. What are you waiting for? I don't know. Ethan, we have a snake bite. Really? Really. Are you coming? Uh... Great doctor sees every chance they get. Uh, no, yes, absolutely. Honey, Ethan. Snake bite! Uh... And there's a Brad Watkins in reception. Would you like me to send him three? Yeah, you'd better. Hey! I thought I recognised that voice. Fancy seeing you here. And you? What's with... Well... I gotta go, but uh, I'll chat to you later, yeah? Okay. Do we know what kind of snake it was? A Western hognose. A Western... Hognose. Uh, it's American. Um, I, di I, didn't, I didn't think it was dangerous. Right. Do you want to get that? Dad? Ava's sick. All right, we need no, to check the toxicity of the venom first. We're in the hospital, but you don't need to come. Give talk space for call just to see what they can advise and in the meantime get some regular ops. But we might have left. Oh, OK. My dad's on his way. Oh, that's nice of hmm. Are you two... What? Together? No, no, no. She's, she's going to be my mum.
you see Rita or Dr. Keo, let them know we're back from the scan. Sure. Can I have my phone? It's in my jeans pocket. Yeah. Oh. There we are. Ah. It's a bit past its best, I'm afraid. I have to speak to Jake. Who's Jake? My boyfriend. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You're not going anywhere. I have to speak to him. All right. Look, use mine. Thanks. Don't tell Dad. No. What if you don't want me to? He's lost it big time. Scotland. I'm not gonna go. He's moving up there, is he? Being made to move. By his boss. I hate him. Dad just lets him walk all over him. Hey, Jake, it's me. Right, you can't tell anyone. Can't tell anyone what? Guess he's getting married. Louise! Who? Well? Zoe and Max, that is awesome! Right, well, keep it to yourself, all right? You know what I'm excited about? I can guess. Not that. Keeping a secret again? Yeah, it's a bit like back in the old days, isn't it? Mm. It's weird. Good weird. Yeah. You want to tell everyone, don't yeah. you? Yeah. So not so much to see. Not so much. When? I don't know. Tonight? After work? Tonight. OK. Yeah. Deal. Deal. Mm. We can talk venue, dress. I want to make attention to my curves, okay. obviously. Wait, 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 wait. There was something else. I... Tonight, yeah? Yeah, tonight. He'll, uh... He'll be all right to travel, though, won't he? Yeah, should be. You go somewhere nice? Scotland. Oh, yeah. Lovely scenery up there. As well as the deep fried chocolate bars. I'm proud of both, Scotland. Oh, don't tell me you're changing your mind. Well... Yeah, cos if so, I don't want to hear it. It's just such a long way, and I don't think Rose is keen. Are you going to let your teenage daughter tell you what to do? No. Good. Now, I'm even going to go and buy your rail ticket for you. So I take it you're not that excited about going to Scotland, then? It's just so quick, and then there's Rosie. Well, I need the work, and Brad gave me a job when no one else would. I mean, doesn't mean you're home for life. I can't be unemployed again. Are you sure that's the only reason why you're going? Hey, what's going on? What's the matter with her? What happened? Uh, she, she was bitten. Uh, yeah, by a snake. What? Poison servers are organising some antivenom to be sent over. In the meantime, can we get some FBC, use and ease, serum myoglobin, and if she can pee you, can we dip test her UFO protein? It, it was an accident. What do you mean, an accident? Well, well I didn't do anything, but um, she was in my room looking for well, her engagement ring. Lucy, why would you think you had her engagement ring? Okay, her airway's compromised. Let's treat for anaphylaxis. Yep, OK, can I get 0.5 mils of 1 in 1,000 adrenaline IM, 5 milligrams of chlorphenamine, 200 milligrams of hydrocortisone, and 5 of nebulized subutamol, please? What's happening? You may have to intubate. Yeah, not yet, though. Hopefully we won't have to. What's wrong? Sorry, um, rubbing. Yeah, it's probably best if you wait outside. Uh, uh, no, come on, the doctors need their space. Right, Lofty. Can we get Dylan in here, please? I'll sort it out. Don't worry. So he won't go, then? I don't have a choice, Rosie. You can go by yourself, then. Don't be stupid. You're 14. I don't care. I'm not going to Scotland. You can go if you want. I don't care. It's not fair. Go ahead. Let him shove you around like Mum did. No wonder she left. Rosie. I don't want you here. I don't want you near me. Rosie? <laughs> What's the matter? I've got pain. Do you see? I can't breathe. All right, darling, can we get some oxygen on, please? Can I have another look at that chest x ray? Is it okay? This could be a small pneumothorax. What's wrong? We think she may have a collapse coming on, in which case we'll have to do a chest drain. But don't worry, that's something we do day in and day out. You'll be all right, you'll be all right, you'll be all right. We'll need another chest x ray.
Okay, thanks. Uh, what bay is the patient in? Yes, which bay in recess is the patient in? Oh, thank you. Hey, how is she? Not good. No, and it's all my fault. And, and I mean, even if it wasn't, in my dad's eyes, it still would be. Your dad? Yeah, he, he was his girlfriend. Right, that makes sense. But no, it doesn't. She's going to be my new mum. What happened to your old mum? She died a, a year ago. It's, it's like he's forgotten all about her and me. You know, every, everything was getting so good between us. It was getting so much better. And, and then she had to come along. No wonder you missed it. It was very small. Well, it certainly isn't now. So very soon be over. All right. Oh, clamp, please. All right, you're doing very well. Okay, give me a little cough, please. <laughs> this? I'll see, Trey. OK, well done. <clears throat> I'll go and find your dad, and then you know how things are going. All right. Okay. Is she all right? She's going to be fine. Do you think I'm pathetic? My daughter does. Well, I don't really know you. Just trying to make everyone happy. Can't be done. What she sees is you choosing your boss over her. She's got a life here. Which I know nothing about. Who's this Jake guy she's seeing? She seems to really like him. Whatever you decide, Someone's going to lose out. It's up to you to choose who that is. All right, I'll call you back. So, uh, that's your book, then. What's the matter? Struck, dumb with excitement. Well, can't you find someone else? Oh, I'll do it yourself. Yeah, the thought had crossed my mind, but then I thought, no, because... I'm not a mug, and I'm not going to leave everything here, and my lady's here. And anyway, it's my business, so my rules. That's not the reason you're not going. You're not going because you know you can't do the job. And I've been stupid enough to think that, that I needed you. Well, not anymore. I'm not going to Scotland. Yes, you are. I'm not. Right, well, I'll, I'll fire you then. No, you won't, because I'm quitting. Let's see how you get on by yourself. Brad. Yes? Is Ethan anywhere near finished yet? I've got this for him. No, and I think they'll be cold by the time it's done. OK. Can I ask your advice? Yes? Well, I was just wondering if you could help me out. How? Well, I'm just trying to figure out what kind of women he likes. You know, what really gets him going. What gets him going? Let me think. You ready to go inside? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Dad, I've been telling this over and over in my mind. None of it's making any sense. How did Ava get bitten? Uh, well, she was looking for a ring, and she put her hand in the drawer, and there was a snake in there. Why was she looking for a ring? What was the snake doing in your drawer? It should have been in the tank. It, it, it just was. Listen, Sylvia. If you're not telling me everything, now is the time to come clean. I love you. We're a team. You and me. Please. You mean it? hundred percent. Then why did you shack up with her? Every, everything was so good when it was just the two of us. I know, but... And I, and, I, and I was just looking out for you. You know, to, to stop her from using you. How are you looking out for me? 
I, I only took this to, to make her look bad. And that's looking out for me? Yeah, she, she's no good for you, Dad. I'll be the judge of that. You? You're blind where she's concerned. She could be dying because of you. Well, maybe that's for the best. You what? Look, Mum would have wanted it to be just the two of us, but you had to go and bring her into our life. She would never forgive you for this. What did you say? How dare you? No, all right, all right, all right. Come on. Are you okay? You all right? Whoa. Oh, I've got you, I've got you. Can we get some help here, please? Oh, come on. I've got you, mate, I've got you. Yeah, thank you. Come inside, come on. Oh, hello, Mr. Bess. We're going to send your daughter up to the paediatric unit fairly soon, and they'll probably want to keep the tube in, um, just in case there are any more problems. But as it is, uh, she has a fractured collarbone, um, uh, two and two ribs, um, but the ankle isn't broken. It's a grade three sprain. Okay. Thank you. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said the things I did. Maybe you had to for me to see sense. I told Brad we're not going. Really? Yeah, really. You're right. He is a muppet. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've been rubbish. You won't be a better dad. How about you being my daughter again? I don't see why not. Maybe when you're feeling better, I could invite Jake round for tea. I'd like to meet him. OK. It just collapsed on the floor. OK, over here. I don't want you. Let's just go. Dylan, can you take a look at this gentleman, please? He's got central chest pain. OK, go slowly. Right. Um, OK, let's get a line in. Uh, uh, we need um, aspirin, uh, a GTN spray. Um, uh, morphine, if necessary. Um, uh, uh, let's get a 12 lead. Chest X-ray. Blood gases. Uh, you, I'm going to get you someone else. What? Hey. Oh. Wow. Right. No. This is. I just his, didn't. No. 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 So oh, you thought it was going, no, no, it's not. It's he, he drops it and then. Right. I'm so you thought it go was good. Yeah. yeah. No, because I've got a. Okay. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. You dropped it when you two were. Uh... Thanks. You know, we've never fought, me and Dad. Especially not like that. What he doesn't get is that I'm just I'm trying to protect him. There's nothing wrong with that, but honestly, I don't think he wants to protect him. Then he's stupid. Well, there's nothing to protect him from. On it. This, um, look. Is it still to do with a blind dog? Aye. Ethan, if he still hasn't asked you out yet, he must be blind. Not really seen him. So why's your face looking like you're doing the Times crossword? I'm confused. You definitely get that from me. Well, I asked for some advice and I don't really understand it. Advice about what? How to make Ethan fancy me, but really fancy me. And well, what was the advice? Uh, show up? <laughs> I'm not really sure. Well, she said Ethan likes a girl that's really full on, you know, dead forward. He likes a girl to dress like she's going to town in a really short skirt, you know, so you can see everything. That don't sound like Ethan at all. Well, that was what I was thinking. Honey, love, just be yourself. If you don't like it, then it's his loss. Don't go changing yourself for no man. You're perfect. Just be me. Just be you. Thanks, Dad. I don't want coffee. Well, you can get something else. I don't think you want coffee either. I know you still have your mind on the coffee shop, girl. No, no, I haven't. Of course you have. I mean, 
Why wouldn't you? She is young, she is very pretty, and you clearly want to be with her more than you want to be a consultant. So I'm just going to go over there and tell her you were to go out. Forget about everything else. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, let's settle this once and for all. No, I can't. Why not? I can't ask her out. Why not? Because of everything that's going on. It's ridiculous to even think about it. And I'm not, I'm not thinking about it anymore. Do you? Well, the second ECG doesn't show any indication of a heart attack either. But I can't rule out the possibility completely. I get indigestion all the time. Yeah, I think it might be angina. And in this event particularly, I think it might be crescendo angina, which does feel very much like a heart attack. We're going to send you up to coronary care. They'll do some more tests on you and possibly an angiogram. Can you look after that, Matt? Yeah, no worries. Thanks, Matt. Thank you. That's fine. Kevin, they told me. Are you OK? It was your heart, yes? He's got angina. No more cigarettes for you. <laughs> I had a heart attack. Completely changed my lifestyle. Yeah, it's noble. I thought you might have gone. What, you don't being stupid. Carry on like this and I'll go. No one's going anywhere. We're going to sort this. OK. Well, just because Ava and I are getting married doesn't mean I love your mum any less. I think about her every day. Since Ava came into my life, She's really helped, eased my pain. I, I, I never thought. Why should you? You were grieving. You still are. But it's easier to cope with as a team. Us back together again. You're going to be needing this back then. I'm sorry. See you, please, yes? So, the ring business. Yeah. That was weird. I've been thinking. By the wedding. We haven't got anything decided yet, Max. We don't know whether we're getting married this year, next year, ten years' time. It's it's just so weird because I don't know what you want or what I want. There's just a lot for us to nail down. So, ditch the announcement? Yeah. Good idea. And then we can get things straight in our head before we tell everyone. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't mean I love you any less. You better not. Hmm. Did you tell anyone? No. How do they know? I don't know. Come on. Oh. Hi. Oh, hi. I was just wondering if you wanted to go for a drink after we finished here. Just me and you. Um, I, 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 I can't. I'm so sorry. I'm... We've got to study him. Oh. OK. Shall we get going? Yes, yes, yeah, we should. Congratulations. Um, I need a signal. I need a word. OK, let's go. Now, this is a surprise. Yeah, for both of us. Look, promise me something, yeah? What's that? Keep it to yourself. Why would I? Why would you want to keep it a secret? So just do. <sighs> All right. As you wish. But why the number four? I've asked around. He's had three fatalities, one of them in Bay 4 at 16.44. 444, yeah. So everything associated with the number four, he believes is a kiss of death for him. Are you sure you're reading this right? Positive. I know Dylan's a bit odd, but this is crazy, Rita. What do you suggest we do? I don't know. I've got to help him through it. Well, of course, but... Hi. Oh, Dylan, listen. What is there to listen to, Rita? Your gossip? 